hello everyone today we're going to be talking about the different colors of your period black is it bright red is it pink what are the possible explanations for these different colors of your period we'll try to talk about the myths that surround the colors of your period does the color of your period signify how healthy your body is this is what we're going to be talking about today. This is Top Pregnancy with Dr. Nola, where we tell you all about pregnancy and other women-related health issues. To our returning subscribers, thank you very much. I love you. And if you're watching this and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please click on the subscription button and receive more videos on this. <music> usually normal to have different colors throughout your period that's from the beginning of your bleeding to the end of the bleeding but however some colors might detect some problems which you will need to consult immediately you discover these changes so the first color we're going to be talking about is black yes black it can be very frightening it means that the period that's a blood that has been there in your vagina for some time and as you want to just see your period it comes out usually it's seen at the beginning of your period if you want to take a closer look at it and if you even use like a tissue or the pad and you touch it try to separate it you're actually going to see that it is red it's not really black per se so once you see this it means that this is a blood that has been coming out slowly it has time for the blood to oxidize that it changes its form that it mixes with oxygen and it becomes oxidized the myth about this is that sometimes people think that is the blood that has blocked the vagina but hey it can't block the vagina if it actually blocks the vagina what do we have we we'll actually have absence of menses if it's blocked and you might be having severe lower abdominal pains so it is just the rate at which it comes out and it is mostly seen at the beginning of the menses the next color which is brown that's almost dark red so here is also the rate at which it goes down and most at times is when you lie down for some time or when you get up from sleep you usually see that your blood is a bit darker so this color is just because it has had some time to stay in the vagina before and getting oxidized before it's coming out but it has not really stayed for long as the black one so you see here that is when you sit down for long or when you have been lying down and the myth surrounding this is that dead coming out from your body is like your you have some some death in your body you know there's maybe some people take some substances that want to cleanse their system so it's like when it's coming out the belief that these things are the deaths that are coming out no it's just blood that has been oxidized and then changing the color to become brown so it's not actually like death that myth surrounding this is that as it is dark it means that it's blood from old men's it's no it cannot be from the old men's it's the way the uterus is everything that comes out it's it's coming out so it depends on the rate at which it flows so no matter how long it stays but it will definitely come out during that period so it cannot be from the previous menses another myth surrounding this is that it's maybe because you're taking a lot of a blood medicine or you're taking a lot of iron rich food no it's just because the blood has been there and has had the chance to get in contact with oxygen and become oxidized that's all third color we're going to be talking about is bright red yes bright red i know everybody is smiling when they see a bright red color coming out that this when the period is really coming out heavily and it comes out it doesn't take time in the uterus before it comes out so, the, so there is no time for oxidation to occur so here we see this bright red blood now that most women say when the red the blood is bright red that means you you're, you're clean your bleeding is good is okay but yes it's fine it's just that the rate at which it came out it does not have time to oxidize but now any woman having a bright red bleeding coming out 
from her vagina it can also mean other things like cervical and endometrial polyps this so not all bleeding that comes out through the vagina is your menses especially if it's bright red so it can signify other things it could also be bleeding after sexual intercourse you see a bright red bleeding coming out most of the times are signs of sexually transmitted infections yeah the next color is pink when people see pink the main thing that comes in their mind is they, they are anemic that you don't have enough blood in your system no it just means that this blood has been diluted by vaginal discharges mucous cervical discharges all these discharges that a woman they usually have and sometimes during her period it increases so once this blood actually dilutes it's just like taking a drink and diluting it with water you see that the color actually becomes lighter so this is usually seen towards the big either at the beginning or the end of your period where some discharges are increasing before you can have this now some people say the the color of the period can be purple Ooh, purple well i don't think so why can it not be purple because blood is red because of the hemoglobin which is present in it so it cannot be you cannot be talking about purple others talk about gray color most of the times this gray color is usually from the vaginal discharges which are signs of infections at the level of the vagina this video is just for educational purposes you should know how your period comes the different colors within the various stages of your period from the first day it starts to when it ends once you see a different change which you are not comfortable with is good you consult immediately so the changes in color of your period blood it depends on the rate at which it flows the rate of dilution of the blood and also if it is oxidized or not but once you have any changes for example if you start bleeding in between your periods if you start having heavy bleedings like those clots tend to increase thinking of things like fibroid endometriosis so you should consult immediately if your period you have maybe for example you have that pink color and it's associated with vaginal itches pain during intercourse and lower abdominal pains it's always important to consult immediately once you have any discharge which you think it is abnormal to you consult immediately thank you very much and if you want to have a private consultation with me click on the link below download this waspito app and give me a call directly and you talk to me either a video call or an audio call thank you very much and god bless you